एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू स्पेक्ट्रम क्लासेस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज फेज इक्लिब्रियम यू मे आल्सो नो दिस टॉपिक बाय द नेम फेज रूल सो हियर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द बेसिक टर्म्स फेज इक्लिब्रियम एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ फेजेस फॉर ए गिवन सिस्टम so before going to discuss about the different terms related to this phase equilibrium i'll just bring to your notice that in 1876 the term phase rule was coined by j w gibbs while he was investigating the heterogeneous equilibria so we are also going to discuss in the next slide what is called heterogeneous equilibria but before that i'll just bring to your notice here here i have written equilibria and here i have written equilibria. so this is a singular number and this is a plural so heterogeneous equilibria why this phase rule is important so the phase rule is an important tool used for the quantitative treatment of system in equilibrium it enables us to predict the conditions that must be specified for a system to exist in equilibrium so we are going to predict the actual conditions that is why it is important and the term used here is quantitative right so that is why this phase rule is important and this phase rule is applicable for the heterogeneous equilibrium system here i have written reactants when these reactants are in equilibrium with product this is the representation of equilibrium but rather using these arrows we have to use half arrows suppose this is our reactant and it dissociates into its ion so here meaning of this equilibrium is that undissociated as well as dissociated ions exist together or we can say further dissociation of this reactant molecule doesn't takes place at equilibrium position right so this is how one can define the equilibrium now we are coming to this this is the equation and how we can explain this or can and we can understand this in the pictorial manner suppose this is a balance and at equilibrium position the position of the pens will be like this if we somehow disturb the equilibrium and we get this type of situation one pen going up and the other pen is going down so what inference you have made out of this picture it means the quantity of the object which is placed in this right hand side pen is more as compared to this left hand pen it means it is less and this is more lee chetler suggest us if we add something to this pen or we will remove something out of this pen then it will go back to its equilibrium position here i'll just show you this animation this is the equilibrium position right and if we disturb this equilibrium it will be like so here at this moment undissociated species as well as dissociated species exist together it will not convert it to the dissociated species and it will not go back to its original position so this is how the equilibrium can be i am just showing this so that you will better understand what is called equilibrium how it exists now we are coming to this term heterogeneous equilibria so what is called heterogeneous before that we must understand what is called homogeneous homo means same homogeneous means same throughout so this can be explained when reactant and product are in same phase that equilibrium is known as homogeneous equilibrium whereas hit in heterogeneous equilibrium reactant or products constitutes more than one phase so we will understand it by example so i am going to give you some examples of homogeneous and then we are going to discuss about the heterogeneous equilibrium so suppose we are thinking about the dissociation of phosphorus pentachloride or pcl5 which is in the gaseous form in equilibrium it exists together with pcl3 
phosphorus trichloride which is again a gas plus Cl2 which is again a gas and there is an equilibrium so you understand now what does this equilibrium mean so here this undissociated and this dissociated species exist together now this is in gaseous form this is again in gaseous form and this is again in gaseous form. so this is uh, known as homogeneous equilibrium another example i am giving you the formation of nitric oxide so n2 in gaseous form plus oxygen in gaseous form again is going to associate and it forms two molecules of nitrous oxide and these species exist in equilibrium and all three species that is reactants as well as product all are in gaseous form so these are known as homogeneous equilibrium now we are coming to the heterogeneous equilibrium so first we are going to see the example and then we will come to the definition part so dissociation of ammonium chloride which is in the solid form this ammonium chloride dissociates into ammonium gas plus hcl gas so here what we are seeing here this nh4cl or ammonium chloride is in solid state whereas this ammonia and hcl are in gaseous form these reactant as well as product species are in different physical states this is in solid state whereas these products are in gaseous state so reactants and products constitutes more than one phases so what is called phase that we are going to discuss in the next slide so here what you understand is solid and these are the gaseous states so we are here discussing about the states of the matter right another example of this heterogeneous system is dissociation of calcium carbonate this calcium carbonate which is in solid state it on heating it dissociates like calcium oxide which is again a solid plus carbon dioxide gas so here we are having two different states of the system the, this species in solid state this species is again solid state and this is a gaseous so if we are having all reactant and product in the same phase then that constitutes homogeneous equilibrium whereas if the reactants as well as products constitutes more than one phases that is known as heterogeneous equilibrium so in the next slide i am going to explain what is the difference between the and the phase of the system now we are coming to the phase rule so according to the phase rule for system in complete internal equilibrium we are having a formula which is f is equal to c minus p plus where c is the number of components c is the number of phases which we are going to discuss now and f is the degree of freedom according to this phase rule number of phases are important to know for a given system which is in complete internal equilibrium so first we are going to discuss what are called phases a phase is defined as any heterogeneous and physically distinct part of a system so it should be physically distinct which is bounded by a surface and is mechanically separable from other part of the system so here first it is heterogeneous second it is physically distinct and the third important point is it should be mechanically separable so first before discuss about the phase of the system we are going to discuss first about the state of the matter here i have summarized only the three states of the matter one is solid state liquid state and gaseous state now coming to the number of phase of a given system so first we are going to discuss about the solid and solid system so here suppose we are having this sulfur and here it is iodine if we mix them together we can separate them by simple hand picking right similarly a household example i am giving you here if we mix table salt plus sugar cubes 
then we can separate them by hand picking right so it constitutes number of phases two phases because these two substances are mechanically separable and here again table salt and sugar cube are separable right so number of phases are two one phase is comprised of table salt and the second phase is comprised of sugar cube the same example if we mix the table salt with the sugar powder we cannot mechanically distinct them so it constitutes one phase we are going to discuss some other examples also suppose i am having this sulfur again and i mix this sulfur with the magnetite and iron ore if these two are mixed together then we can separate them by the by this magnetic wheel right so here we are having the, the magnetic material and here we are having non magnetic so this is mechanically separable so it constitutes two phases now we are coming to the another system which is comprised by liquid and a solid so suppose if i added one tablespoon salt or one tablespoon sugar cubes to the water and mix them very well it will be like this so it is homogeneous everywhere it tastes same and its appearance is same its density is same everywhere it means it comprises of one phase only because it is mechanically inseparable so it constitutes one phase if we add sand to the water then what is going to be happen that sand is not soluble in the water and that will be settled down at the bottom of the container after some time we can decant and we can separate the two phases so water plus sand will constitute two phases right so here liquid and solid is if they are miscible if they are soluble then it constitutes one phase if they are insoluble then it constitutes two phases one is solid phase and the other one liquid now coming to the liquid liquid system so if i will add some squash to the water then what is going to be happen how many phases it constitutes are you able to see two different phases or one phase only so it constitutes one phase only similarly if i add oil to the water then what is going to be happen you will have this type of situation so here you are having water and here you are having oil so how many phases it constitutes it constitutes two phases one is this one and the other so what inference we have made out of this if liquid liquid are miscible system then it constitutes one phase and if these are immiscible then it constitutes phases now coming to the next example of gas and solid for example we are having a smoke so what a smoke is it is the solid carbon particles in the air or in the gaseous phase so it constitutes two different phases right one is solid and the other one is gas phase if we are having mixture of gas and gas then mixture of gas and gas always constitutes one phase so mixture of gases constitutes one phase only and this is how one can check number of phases in a given system number of components how that are calculated that i will explain further in the next video thank you all